It's called the Comma 3X, and the software is called Open Pilot, and it connects to a car's safety features and drives a car. Cars as old as six years old. Uh, comma and Open Pilot, what does it do? All right, so this is the Comma 3X. It runs our software called Open Pilot, and we build a software and hardware stack um, for essentially the world's best ADAS. Um, Open Pilot's the software, Comma 3X is the hardware. So I, I think a lot of people, when I tell them about Comma, they say, oh, it's like turning my car into a Tesla. A bit like that, yeah. Yeah, so I think the right way to think about it is, you know, you plug in your iPhone for better music and maps in your car, you're going to plug in your comma for a little bit better driving. If you have a lane keep system, an adaptive cruise system that, you know, stops and goes for cars for you, this is just going to supercharge and give you cruise control and steroids. Okay, explain what it's like behind the wheel with open pilot. All right, so our slogan, make, drive, and chill. Um, we really, really, really focus on the parts that you might see in the Tesla videos that it does really, really well. None of the fancy stuff that's like, all right, we're going to make this huge 90 degree turn. We're going to make an unprotected left turn. We're going to take all these exits and interchanges and clover leaves. We don't do any of that. Um, the system will try if you'd like, but it'll never jerk the wheel. Um, the system is really best that you get on the highway, you click the engage button on your steering wheel, and then you just sit back and you watch it. You watch it stay in the lane. You watch it track the highway. So we support every major brand in the US. Um, we have to support every car individually. Um, yeah, here we go. So we have this page on our website. Um, these are all the brands, every major one in the US, and then a whole bunch more. Um, it's a list of 300 cars at this point. Um, it just goes on and on and on. So if you don't quite see your car here, it'll probably come soon. But it's um, basically what does the car need as far as yeah. the features that... So it needs the lane keep system and an adaptive cruise system. So if your car does a cruise control where it'll break for the cars in front of it, and then if it'll do any kind of steering adjustments, then it's a good candidate for support. Okay. Uh, and we likely support your car, and if not, we will support your car. If okay, it doesn't yeah. have these systems, then we likely can't control the car. Right. Because we just upgrade these systems. Yeah. We don't install any motor, we don't do anything yeah. like that. So let's talk safety. How safe is it? Yeah, so the reason I, I keep bringing up the cruise control is this is exactly where the device integrates, and it should be treated like a cruise control system, right? Uh, you could think of level two driver assist as anything from basic cruise control that doesn't stop for the lead cars, all the way to something like the fancy Tesla FSD. So we're somewhere in the middle there. Uh, so we will very reliably lane keep and uh, do adaptive cruise on the highway, and you could think of this really like cruise control on steroids. You can let the system just run on the highway for hours without intervention. Um, so it's really just a mega reliable version of this. Is it best, or, or is it best for open highway? Is it fine in the city with traffic? Yeah. So um, it really excels in any kind of highway scenarios, any kind of stop and go scenarios. Um, any kind, any time where you're really just staying in one lane and you're just going. Um, road trips, commutes, it's really great for this stuff. Um, the city stuff will come with time. These guys get software updates very regularly. Um, and we're really working on this stuff. We've got experimental mode with red light stop signs. We've got a lot of users driving around with that um, in the city and they're pretty happy with it. I personally drive with that mode. Um, but that's not the bread and butter right now. We have, exper we have experimental mode and we have chill mode and we really protect chill mode. This is what all most of our users drive on. Um, and experimental mode is the fancy stuff that will come to you as it gets good. Okay, um, now there is, you, once you get the device and install it, there's yeah. some other software that you can also use, right? Is that? Yeah, I've so. Seen that, I've seen that on, yeah. on Reddit, especially all of the. Yeah, yeah. So the Reddit people, they love their third party <laughs> yeah, software. Yeah. It's a little bit like your iPhone or your Android phone where you could install like a custom ROM, you could jailbreak it. Um, our device um, is, is really yours. You can do whatever you want with the device. We make OpenPilot, but there's other people. OpenPilot is completely open source, MIT licensed. Anybody can go download it, use it for any purpose. Um, and people uh, take OpenPilot and they customize it. Um, so shout out to SunnyPilot, FrogPilot. Those are two of the popular distributions you can get right now. Um, so you can think of them like flavors of OpenPilot, that right. somebody has gone and taken OpenPilot, added a custom theme to it, maybe tweaked it for a car, um, and yeah, you can do that with this device. It's not the, the main thing with the device, but it is something you can do with it. Yeah. Because we really believe your device is your device. How, how many people are using it? Um, so we have about 20,000 of these guys sold lifetime, um, and about 40% of those drive every single day with the device. Um, 10,000 of, of this, the Comma 3X, and then the previous gen, um, another 10,000 or so. Any 
reports of any accidents and that kind of thing? I mean, again, it's, it's a lot like cruise control, right? You yeah. wouldn't go and say like, hey, officer, cruise control caused this accident. It didn't break enough for this lead car, right? It's a driver assistance system. Yeah. Now, I know that there are multiple cameras. Let's talk about the, the cameras and, um, you know, the safety features yeah. with the cameras. Yeah. So, um, we have, on this side, we have two forward-facing cameras that look at the road. This one is a fisheye camera, so it can see traffic lights, it sees all around you. And then this one is a narrow camera that sees really far for those lead cars that are way out in the distance. Um, and then we also use your car's radar. Uh, radar is really great at knowing the speed of your lead cars uh, and seeing them out in the distance very accurately. Um, and then we have this camera that looks in at the cabin um, and it does driver monitoring. And what we can do with driver monitoring is we can wake you up if you're sleeping, when you have the system engaged, it'll really make sure you're paying attention. And uh, we've been doing driver monitoring for about five, six years now, and we really have lots of data that shows that driving with Opilot does change the driver a bit, and you do end up being a more attentive driver. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting that. that you find, you know, you don't know when you're distracted, and the system like will beep you and say, hey, look at the road, and then escalates, obviously, if you don't. If you're on your phone, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna ignore this. It'll keep escalating. Uh, and then does it slow down? Does yeah. the car slow down? So if it escalates all the way, we won't just like totally disengage and cut out on yeah. you. What we do is uh, we just we strictly slow down. We'll slow you to a stop and keep you there um, if it gets to that point. But our goal is really to wake you up to get you back to take over. We're a driver assistance system. Uh, so okay. how often do you up update the software? Okay, so um, we have a lot of people driving on like bleeding edge stuff. They're like trying out the latest and greatest and we update stuff every day for them. Um, then we have people who are on very stable channels and they get updates maybe Which once support, or every couple months. Um, so the software gets updated pretty frequently. So that's security updates too. To, um, I mean, it's, it's so open get, source, right? Just, yeah. yeah, so they're not so, they're not quite security, up, they're functionality updates. Okay. Your car will drive better over time. So you see the Teslas get these like infotainment updates, they get the driving updates. Right, right. Your car will get all of these updates. Okay. 